Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari under attack as Nigerians call for sack of service chiefs. Is it not time? Is it not about time that Buhari does the needful? What's happening in this country can only be done in a zoo, not in a civilization, not where we have people who have minds, who knows the truth of what, should, what, of what should be done. Only in Nigeria that people carry on with evil activities and continue as if they've never done anything wrong. The service chiefs in this country have constantly and continuously failed. We at Buhari will never take them away. Why? They are serving his purpose. They won't ask them to go because they are serving a purpose for him. See what happened in, you know, uh, yesterday in Benue when 40 men, so those are husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, 10 women are still missing. But Buhari, all he said, and he didn't say it himself, oh, at least that would, it does not even appear. He sent through Garu Bashewu, telling the North that he condemns what has happened. Who you help? So you condemn what has happened. What's the meaning of that? How does he solve the matter? You condemn what has happened. How does he solve the issue on ground? Well, unless the North wake up and realize that they are being oppressed, you know, you can actually force your horse to the water, to the to the streams or to a dish of water. You cannot force the water down a stream. You will try your hardest. Trust me. They use a horse because a horse with the kind of animal and everything is very difficult. Let's carry on. So you can understand the attack Buhari is in now. Buhari under attack as Nigerians call for the sack of service chiefs. Nigerians have renewed call for the sack of the service chiefs following the increase in security in the country. On Saturday, the B-Boys B took the head of 43 farmers on their rice farm in Burundi State. Buhari reaction said that the governor and the government support the, supported the armed forces with all necessary steps to improve security, especially for the people of Burundi, and condemn this activity of what has happened at this time. However, this did not go down well with Nigerians, who called out Buhari over the high rate of insecurity in the country, especially in the north. They called for the president to sack the service chiefs before the situation worsened. There are so many comments, you know, Nigerians are calling out. You know, if it's in the south, we will react. It's only in the north that they've been subdued. They've been oppressed to a position where they cannot speak. In fact, they've kept them so much under that they don't even know they are right from their wrong. Currently, now as we speak, the North cannot even say a single word or oppose Muhammad Buhari to say, what have you done? What is going on currently now? How can you do this? How can you allow this to continue? When Buhari came into office, there is what we call the oath of office, which he swore to uphold. And one of such in the code of the oath that was taken was to protect Nigerians. However, my people, it's obvious that it was a lip service, all in a bid to grab power immediately and to, you know, start, uh, you know, uh, starting wealth for themselves as they fondly and commonly do. Do you know that in this very country, just that very week of answers, the UAE, United Arab Nations, carried six Nigerians, and six Nigerians as we speak now are in the United Arab Nations. They are currently in prison. Two of those people sentenced to life imprisonment. Four sentenced to 10 years each. Why? It's not because they committed any particular offense. The UAE looked and checked their activities and find out that Buhari CBN is very much in line with these people sponsoring these people that took away people's head, 40 of them. So they were sponsoring the B-Boys and they could trace the activity. Guess what? When our newsmen got to uh, CBN and to Minister of Internal Affairs to say, have you heard 
Nigerians, six of them, have been jailed in the United Arab Emirates. Two, life imprisonment. Four, ten years each. He said, we have not been briefed. How lame is that? These are people who are leading us. Say, we've not been briefed. We don't even know. Is, is there anything they know in this country? Of course, no. Why? They, they are the ones sponsoring it. People are making their daily living from the suffering, the taking of life. Some others, you know, of the school of thought that there will be, you know, Buhari is a staunch fanatics of his religion and wants to turn Nigeria, you know, like they say, allegedly Islamized, in Islamized Nigeria. And so these are foot soldiers who are to carry out activities. This ought not to be. In a democracy, there is freedom of religion, freedom of association. So it's really your choice. So long as you are law abiding, so long as you do what you're supposed to do, yes, you don't commit any form of crime, you carry on with your civic responsibility. Every other thing you do is your private life. But in Nigeria, there is what we call dictatorship. My people, uh, the North is playing and taking this thing with levity. But guess what? It has not come home. When it does come home, they will understand the truth of what is going on. I don't think they felt it yet. They've not. Because if they have, the country will not take it as though anything, you know, as if nothing is happening. You need to wake up and be wise. Because today, <laughs> what is happening? Is it kidnapping? Is it the bandits? Is it full of any headsmen? People travel and they pray to God from the beginning of the journey to the end. Why? Insecurity. People pray and trust God for, I mean, journey, going and coming back. Why? The level of insecurity is unimaginable. Unless the North wake up and say to themselves, enough is enough. I don't see this coming to an end anytime soon. Unless they wake up and they agree and tell themselves that we must put a stop to this. It's not ending anytime soon. Has the government done anything? No. Do they feel that they've achieved their purpose? Yes. The people who took the people's life, 40 of them, do they feel that they've done something right? Yes. Why? Nobody's coming after them to speak about justice. So, my dear, this is the country that we are in, that Nigeria has become a hub and a place where people can no longer walk freely and have safety. What do you think? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.